we're just going to turn around and leave. All right. Oh, the snow still hurts. I don't remember which side this is on, so we're going to have to get the bunny hood on to make this go more quickly. We could roll as a Goron, too, but I'm tired of being the Goron. I don't want it anymore. Should be just around the back here, but not at the ramp. Well, I went almost the entirely wrong direction for it, but there it is. I guess it is sort of faintly on the map. If you're wondering why we hadn't pointed out the fairy fountain to this point, it's because we couldn't have done anything with it anyways. We saw the one in Woodfall much more easily than here. But here we are. And this is pretty much the last thing we're going to do in this three-day cycle. For reasons I'll explain in a minute. The Great Fairy of Wisdom, unsurprisingly, is going to give us a double-sized magic meter. I think I remember reading that in the 3DS version of this, these are actually reversed. You get the magic meter for the first one, and then you get the spin attack here. Which sounds better, to be honest. Has so many fire arrows you can shoot, and Goron rolly time. Alright, well, that horror is over. Now we're going to go outside and then play the... Song of Soaring. Do a little bit of business. No, not that way. No, no, no. Well, do a little bit of the usual stuff. Back in Clock Tower. Clock Town. Clock Tower Town. Town of Clock Tower Town. Talk. Claw. Clusion. Talking. I'm going to wrap up our usual business and come back. The reason being, we didn't beat the temple quite quickly enough. We wanted to be able to do it in the first day, if possible. It's tough to do, though. If I remembered the dungeon better, it would probably be easier, but uh, I don't. So we're going to go drop off some money. Because we've got to keep working on the piece of heart. I don't remember how many rupees it takes, but it's a bunch. I'm hoping a thousand. I feel like it's not that low. It is worth 25 rupees to me to do this now and then go get the silver rupee. Assuming I didn't in the cycle. I don't think I did. But let's see. Gonna go have a quick look-see. Postman doing his work. Good stuff, Postman. Love the thing you're doing there. Yeah, it's there. Okay. I'm going to grab that ruby chest, deposit it, and head on back. Uh, anyways, we've all talked about first day. The reason is, it's spring now in the area around Snowfall. And there are a couple things I can do, even right now. But I want to try and kill two birds with one stone. And we're going to get a sword upgrade at that first hut in the area that we kind of ignored. Unfortunately, to have enough time to upgrade it twice, which we need to do if we want the permanent upgrade, we have to start it by the end of the first night. And of course, it's already day two, so it's impossible to do that. We can still get the first upgrade, but it's temporary and also a waste of time. So we'll package that with a couple other things. Then we're going to have to go back for another three-day cycle to go deal with some stuff over at Romani Ranch. Because again, it needs to be the first night to work on some stuff there. That's mandatory, though, because we need to get Epona back. I do need something. I need something. Do you have something? Because I have something for you. Alright, 886. Maybe a thousand of the next wallets? I just don't remember anymore. I 
Now this guy's gonna get stopped in mid-clap. Look at him. He looks like he's shrugging. Like, I don't know what this kid's doing. I just know he somehow keeps coming back earlier in the week, and it's weird, but I don't ask questions of my bank customers. I just go with it. We and all of our stuff. Mostly just bombs and arrows. We deposited all of our rupees. We didn't really have much else. A couple of Deku sticks, maybe? So the one downside of this is it means we're going to have to beat Goat again. We do have the quick way to do it, which is nice. That's why it was important that we did the ferry then, because those don't carry over. The quickest way to the ocean is through the west gate. Yes, it is. We're not ready for that yet. This also means we have to play the stupid song again to get the stupid giant Goron out of the way. It's a good thing this game is charming, because some of it certainly can be repetitive. A byproduct of the system, no doubt. But still. I don't think this works as a regular link, but it might. Okay. No, it's... How silly of me to forget there for a minute. It does have to be the Goron. Okay. Well. Oh, how I wish I could skip this scene. Although it is funny watching him fall off every time, and I do like the little musical cue, as we've talked about. It's... Do it. Yeah, I'll see you in hell. You can kind of see the fairy fountain cave there in this camera now that I look at it. Whoops. Bye. They tricked me, what can I say? Alright. Now the other added bonus to this, both for this and something we're going to do after we do the second fight of GOAT, is we have the magic meter improvement. Nope. Since I gave up on it again, too. Uh, we have the improved magic meter, so at least we don't have to worry about running out of magic as easily as we roll around this spike form so much. All right, round two. I really should be funny about this. I'm so okay. <laughs> I don't have the focus required for this, nor the interest. Unfortunately, the control sticks are a little finicky on this stuff. I'm gonna hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the second thing that we need to do here. Well. <laughs> I blocked it with my shield, but my shield was not enough. <laughs> I love that even as it drops, when it doesn't really do anything, it's just such a hard ice ball that it just knocks my ass over. Oh, I need to play the song too. Oh. What? Want as much time as possible. Now you get to see this in action, though. Here we are. Here's the boss. Uh, we have zero arrows, so I'm assuming there must be arrows in here somewhere. Yeah, maybe in the jar. There's a pot right there. Good, good design. Uh, so if it's that, then it's so. There we go. <laughs> Always a struggle. Every time. What? What in the world? Whoa. Hey. Looks like they knew that you could mess up and get stuck in here. Oh, 
do 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 Hello again, goat. Round two. Even though I know this is coming, I still could run over by him again. Do, 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 do. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Well, that's just nonsense. <laughs> I don't care who you are. That was nonsense with a capital non. Uh oh! I, I apologize for the screen freaking the hell out. <laughs> Necessary. The good news is the lightning missed us. The bad news is we got off pace a little bit, but we'll catch up. No, we won't. Unavoidable rock. You know, what we didn't really see him kick up last time. I think he adds to the mix at some point. Maybe because we hit him so many times at the end in a row. Uh, he also kind of starts throwing out bombs. And the bombs, like everything else, are just meant to stop you from rolling after him. It's fine. This time we got to a much better start, but we have to play catch up still. Almost we were able to bounce off the wall and still hit him, but I think it's magic. I think we here. Dodge. Got him. Got him. Got him again. Got him again. Isn't falling down again, even on the four hits in a row there. But he's also taking a lot of damage. There was a bomb! I saw it. There's another one. Boy, that dodge took some work. Uh, nope, couldn't quite curve it. Quick, get after him. I don't want to turn around shooting lightning. That's just a waste of everyone's time. Well, landed and curved right into it. Don't stop being a butt. A goat butt. A clear for takeoff. Hit him. Uh, I think we get hit by one of those lock as soon as it spawns situations. I'm not sure how we got so far ahead of me after the first hit there, but we're not going to ask questions. We're just going to get revenge. That's, that's wonderful. <laughs> it's a damn obstacle course. The obstacle is my happiness. There we go. There we go. That's the ticket. Hey, the pot's back by the entrance. Cool. <laughs> Link drunkenly goes in a circle. And a lovely magic vial is on the screen. The vase is just staring at us. You'll notice, though, that because we've done this before, it kind of saves us some time here. It's not like, whoa, look at the seasons changing. It's just, it's just done. Oh, I messed up. Man. Man. I forgot my place. Also, I really want the bunny hood out. What did I mess up on? I need some rupees. 
And in my head, I was like, well, when I go back to the first day, I'll just go over, get that chest, and then I'll head to Snowfall. And instead, I went straight to Snowfall. I was just like, yeah, going to kill me a goat. And I, I forgot. I forgot. What can I say? We're going to fix this as quickly as we can. Luckily, this is the easiest 100 rupees in the world. There's also the one back in uh, the bomber's hangout area on the way to the Astral Observatory. There's that one in the wall that we could bomb. I think this is quicker. Plus, I don't have to deal with the kid, which is a big plus for me, if we're being honest. Oh. <laughs> All right. I thought I put that right the first time, but I guess not. Right back to the mountain village. Luckily, I'm kind of shielded up here, so nobody in Clock Town knows about my devil magic. Well, I just disappear from view. <laughs> okay, we almost got caught in a trap. Let me in! Hello, sir, who looks like a villain out of the Resident Evil game. I'll go, I'll go. Don't you call me an uggo. Let me take a look at your sword. I'll do it! And hence the hundred rupees. Come back tomorrow morning. Uggo, uggo, uggo. Still not very nice. Now what's the downside of this? Well, I have no sword. So I can't attack with anything. So that's okay. Also, you notice, as we talked about, these are indeed visible when it's not winter. You just gotta climb on up. The bee's gonna kick my ass because I don't have a sword. I don't know if you've heard me mention that before, but I don't have one. Now, and here is an interesting thing. But it's not really worth looking at just yet. We need to do is make our way back to the village. And check out what's a happening. No time for his nonsense. Oh, almost tried to jump that gap. I would not have made it. Nope. Nope. I think the wolves would be in a better mood because it's not so snowy and miserable here. Or a worse mood, but it turns out it's neither. They don't care, they just hate me. This wolf is going across a bridge he hates me so much. <laughs> 